Hello guys, it's Albahe and welcome back to another Anthem video. This is my advanced movement guide for the Interceptor. Now, if you're new around here, my 100 tips video on Anthem is linked in the description below. Everything you need to know about the game with zero story spoilers and my 100 Javelin tips video will be out soon. So make sure that you subscribe for that. Also, make sure that you guys check out my interceptor movement guide when it comes down to the basics because in this advanced movement guide that's right i'm going to be using a lot of the terms that i taught you guys in the basic interceptor movement video and of course we're also going to be using movements that um you know like movement mechanics that i taught you guys on that basics video last but not least i'm going to be teaching you guys how to maximize movement with the interceptor in combat and how to use movement as your advantage in Grandmaster 1 and above, I'm going to be going over a couple of strategies and tips and after that I'm going to be breaking down some gameplay examples on how I use movement as an interceptor to basically of course make a lot of opportunities for myself as well as my team. Alright, so on my basics movement guide on the interceptor, I taught you guys that you don't want to be triple jumping and triple dodging and then activating flight because you're not going to be covering a lot of ground in that specific way. What you guys want to be doing is jump, triple dodge, melee, jump, melee, jump, melee, triple dodge. And as you guys can see, we were able to cover a lot of ground without actually having to use our jetpack. So now I'm going to make it back. And as you guys can see, it's only going to take about maybe 10% of our thrusters to actually get up here. So, yes, grab it. I know, that was really amazing. So, yes, guys, you absolutely want to make sure that you're always maximizing uh, triple dodging and, of course, the melee jump ability that the Interceptor has. On top of all that, that's also something that is going to be helping you guys out a lot when it comes down to combat. So now let's talk about a common mistake that a lot of Interceptor players make, like myself, of course, when using this ability. So let's say that you triple dodge, and then out of nowhere, you just really like slow down. Actually, wait up, that was uh, a mistake. Okay, let's say that you triple dodge, but for some reason the game didn't register your melee key. You don't want to be doing a melee jump if the game doesn't register your melee key, and I'm going to show you guys why now. So I'm going to triple dodge, and I'm going to sort of slow down. And as you guys can see, the two melee jumps that I did didn't really have a lot of momentum. So how is it that you can fix that mistake? Well, it's pretty simple. Let's say that you triple dodge, and out of nowhere, for some reason, your melee doesn't activate. You guys want to activate flight, and you guys want to regain your momentum with flight. Then you cancel flight, and you do two melee jumps. And then, of course, you do melee, and then dodging. So that's another advanced tip uh, for you guys right there. Let's talk about how to traverse terrain with the Interceptor very quickly. Here's a tip, it's not flight, and here's a tip, it's not activating melee and dodging every single time as you're flying. I'm gonna get from this location all the way up to this location, and I'm probably gonna use about 20% of my thrusters. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm gonna triple dodge, and then of course I'm gonna melee jump twice, and then I'm going to triple dodge, I'm gonna fly, I'm going to stick to ground so that my two jumps reset. And as you guys can see, we're probably going to use, like I said, about 20% of our thrusters just to get to this location right here. So tip number two, when it comes down to advanced interceptor movement, you guys want to make sure that you're landing on ground as much as you can. So that, of course, you guys can sort of get back the two extra jumps that you have with the interceptor. So those are the two key fundamental tips that you're going to need when it comes down to, of course, eliminating enemies with the Interceptor. Now, we're going to talk about combat. There are two things that you always want to be doing in combat. Well, three things. The number one thing is knowing where the enemies are at and knowing where there are enemies that you can pick off. Specifically the ones in a group if you are, of course, running a Venom Bomb and Tempest Kick build, which is, of course, the most popular build at the moment. So, of course, the only way that you're going to be knowing where all of the enemies are at is, of course, by constantly being on the move with the Interceptor. In Grandmaster 2 and above, if you're not being constantly on the move, you're just going to get completely destroyed, and, of course, the enemies are going to be able to finish you off. However, in Grandmaster 2 and above and Grandmaster 1, if you're always being mobile with the Interceptor, you're not going to die a single time, and that is something that you guys are going to be seeing in the gameplay examples. So, as you are, of course, you know, being very mobile with the Interceptor, let's see that you find an enemy. 
we're going to triple dodge into this enemy and to close the distance between them we're going to melee jump towards them. You always want to use triple dodge to engage and if you need to actually cover the distance you want to use melee jump. So right here I'm going to do a short melee jump, I taught you guys how to do that on my basic tip video. So I'm going to do a short melee jump, I'm going to venom spray this guy and then oh my god the turret just killed it, that's what I get for playing on easy. But basically what I would have done there is I would have triple dodged, covered the distance with a melee jump and then of course hit my enemy with venom spray and then I would have spark dashed my enemy. That's what I get for playing on easy, Every everything's dying instantly. So after you guys end up doing that, uh, after you guys of course get the distance in the enemy, a lot of people like to say the interceptor is useless on Grandmaster 2 and above and you can't get within melee range because uh, you know when you get at melee range you're gonna get instantly killed. Well those people are wrong, those people don't know how to maximize the interceptor movement. When you guys, after you guys of course get into combat, you guys want to jump once. You want to do your best to never waste your triple jump as you're getting out of combat and most of the time it's not gonna be necessary. But you want to be jumping once and then of course you want to be using your triple dodge to uh, disengage from the fight. But as you use your triple dodge to disengage from the fight, you're going to be uh, doing two melee jumps to actually see uh, where the next enemy is going to be and where you can position yourself to attack the next enemy. So it's going to look something like this. Closing the distance. Escaping fight. Where's the next enemy at? The, the, the next enemy is over here. Closing the distance. Bam, ability. And then triple dodge. Seeing where the enemy's not gonna be at. Okay, there's not gonna be an enemy here. I'm gonna take high ground. Now I'm going to move. Seeing where the enemy's gonna be at. Closing the distance with melee jump. I prime him. And then of course I spark dash. Etc, etc. Alright, so let's talk about the next advanced tip that I have for you guys. This one involves flights and snipers. And of course pushing enemies. So let's say that you need to cover a big distance from one enemy to the next. What you guys want to do is, I'm actually going to wait for the sniper to lock onto me again. Alright, so I'm going to jump, I'm going to activate flight once, and then if the enemy shoots me, I'm of course going to be using my dodge ability. Let's say that the enemy is over there towards that cone that I'm at. I'm covering a big distance. I'm going to be dodging every single chance that I get so that of course the enemies that are below are not going to be hitting me. Right, so we're going to be closing off the distance between me and this sniper right here. I'm going to dodge. And then I'm going to dodge again, and then when I'm close, I'm going to cancel my flight, and then of course do a double melee jump, or one melee jump, to of course close the distance between me, and of course the foe that I want to destroy. And that's basically what I like to do when I, when I need to cover long distances. Now the third thing that you guys need to keep in mind also, as you are of course uh, moving around with the Interceptor in uh, Grandmaster 1 Plus and above, is how you move around your environments is how of course you define your survivability. For example, in the gameplay example that you guys are going to be seeing, I'm always going to be sort of moving in uh, behind some sort of cover. So if there's an enemy right here, for example, I'm going, to, I'm not going to be pushing him like straight, right? I am going to be triple da dodging behind the rock and then I'm going to come at him from behind this rock. Because if he sees me coming in this way, not, you know, he's not going to see me anymore, right? Because, you know, I'm going to be behind cover, or at least that's what the AI is going to be thinking. And then out of nowhere, I show up right in front of his face out of nowhere, and I'm already within killing this. Oh, that's right. One more combat tip with the Interceptor. Let's say that I'm actually really, really low on health in this position right here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump, and I'm going to try to position myself as far away from the team as possible. Okay, and usually your two melee jumps is of course going to be enough to of course put you at a pretty decent position. Now, something that you guys need to know is that you guys can cancel melee jump into a lot of things. For example, I'm going to hit this guy with my spark dash and then I'm going to jump and I'm going to cancel this melee jump into a hover. And this is basically going to put me at a position where I can of course hit the enemy. But then I'm going to be triple dashing out of the way and then doing the last melee jump that I have saved up because of course I only uh, jumped up in the air once, okay? So yeah, make sure that you guys are finding out ways in which of course you can uh, maximize your melee jump. There are actually a lot of different variations so that's why I'm not going to be covering all of them in this video. And here's an example of what mastering your melee canceling is all about. In this clip I see that this guy is going to hit me so I jump back, I melee cancel and I position myself in a way that I can finish him off with my melee. 
Okie dokie, let's talk about the ultimate. Um, I usually activate the ultimate in Grandmaster 1 Plus when I'm at low health so that I don't have to die. And usually I like to go from one target to the next, of course, by using my triple dodge. However, sometimes for some reason, you can uh, do a melee jump when you are in your ultimate. However, sometimes it just doesn't work, as you guys can see. Look, right there, it actually ended up working. But yeah, it's sort of a little bit buggy. Sometimes you can do the melee jump with your ultimate. Sometimes you can't do the melee jump with your ultimate. Anyways, let's move on forward to some gameplay examples that's going to teach you guys how to capitalize on this movement. Alright, so just to give you guys some context, this is a legendary contract on Grandmaster 2 difficulty. And I only have three components in this gameplay that you guys are seeing in the background. And yet, I'm still going to be effective and I'm not going to be going down. I see this enemy, I do the Venom Bomb, the Venom Bomb Tempest Kick combo with the targeting beacon. And then of course, I do a double dodge, I do a melee jump, I put myself into hover so that I have an aerial view of the situation, and I see this elite scout, I see that my friend Stratosporn needs help with it. So I'm going to be taking out his shield, triple dodging into combat, getting into the action as fast as possible so I can help him out with that extra damage, and we finish off that elite scar scout. Now let's move on forward to the next gameplay example. I'm out in the open and I have a lot of enemies around me. So I'm going to triple dodge and use my movement to put myself behind this tree where I'm going to be having, of course, more cover. I'm going to throw my Venom Bomb, prime those guys up, and then I'm going to Tempest Kick. I see this uh, Buggy Bomb that explodes in your feet. I'm going to use the triple dodge to go out. And then, of course, I am going to get the high ground so that I have a better view of the entire situation and I can see what enemies I can go to. And I wanted to Tempest Kick these enemies here after I threw my Venom Bomb, but I actually, my Tempest Kick just didn't activate for some reason. So that, that was uh, underwhelming. So in this gameplay example, I was out in the open, so I decided to get behind cover, behind this rock, to decide what targets I was going to go after. I see I want to go for the people in the north, so I close the distance between a melee jump. I dash to get this health pack, and of course I use my single jump to actually get the second one. And as you guys are seeing, I'm going to be using my dash, and I'm going to be using both of my me melee jumps, and I'm going to be hovering, so that I can put myself at a position where I can of course see the enemies. I see that this enemy is primed, so I'm going to finish him off. Now we finished off all of the enemies that were in the north, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get behind cover, I'm going to melee my weapon, and I'm going to see what's the enemy that I'm going to go after next, because I always want to be moving with my interceptor. So I see this enemy right here. Me and my friend Stratos decide to uh, team up on him, but I Tempest Kick into the water like a failure. But it's all Gucci, I submerge from the deep like the boy Aquaman, I tempest kick this dude in the face, I stab him a couple of times and I'm like, BRB fam, I got bigger fish to fry, so I use my triple dodges. And as you guys are seeing, I'm going to be using my triple dodges again, I'm going to be putting myself at a position where I can help out my team big time. So I throw this Venom Bomb here, I hit this target that is primed twice, and of course I am able to finish off these two enemies right here. I see these enemies in front of me, I'm going to double jump, I'm going to use my triple dodge to put myself at a better position where I can of course deal with them better. So I get on their other side, I throw a Venom Bomb that is able to hit all three of them, and I'm able to of course take out uh, this dude right here. And as you guys can see, I dodge into this other enemy and I'm able to finish him off. And then I'm going to dodge my way into safety by getting behind cover and then taking out this Elite Scar Scout with my Storm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to triple dodge out of this position that I'm at because I wanted to put myself at a position where I was able to land the Venom Bomb on all of these three enemies that I, just, that I just triple dodged over. But my friend Stratos basically had it under control, so I decided to finish off this enemy right here. Here's another example of how I'm always going from one target to the next with my Interceptor. I see this target here. I'm going to, of course, uh, damage uh, him with my melee because my friend primed him with his uh, toxic uh, spare thingy that the Colossus has. I'm going to Venom Bomb and then I'm going to Tempest Kick and I'm going to hit him with melee a couple of times. That should be enough to finish him off. But then I have no idea of my surroundings, right? So I'm going to jump and then I'm going to dodge and then I'm going to melee jump and then I'm going to hover. Because now my team wants to focus on this legendary elementalist. In this next gameplay example, I'm going to be taking damage. I'm going to be on critical, which means that I need to run away as fast as possible. So I'm going to use the triple dodge double melee cancel technique. And usually what I like to do after my health is very low is I like to put myself at a position where I am safe from bad guys. And I am also able to help out my teammates with my sniper or of course my long range weapon. 
But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. This is my advanced interceptor movement guide. This guide is going to be setting the foundation for my Grigora interceptor build, which I will be making a video of very soon. My Grigora build is able to dish out 700,000 damage within 10 seconds. And no, that is not clickbait. I will have a video on that build very soon. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure that you learn all of the tips in this advanced movement guide because if you don't master these advanced movement mechanics, you're going to be complete shit with my Grigora build. See you guys in the next one and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.